Okay, this is my uh, Pump It Up GX cabinet that's been upgraded with a flat screen. It's running Prime 2, the 2018 version. Uh, I've done a few different little mods and rehab to this thing. So I'll just walk you through it and I'm gonna upgrade this bad boy to Pump It Up XX 20th Anniversary Edition in a few minutes. So um, first thing, pads. Um, I got this machine in really bad shape and basically just took this whole thing apart. You wanna buff all these guys down. You can see a lot of tutorials on this stuff. Um, <clears throat> countersunk the screws. Um, these guys here used to be real wiggly. And if you got any connections with anybody for arc welding, they needed to get welded back down. Got replacement pads for them. Replace the uh, the lights with uh, LEDs in these things here. That's about it on the pads. Over here, pretty much every single surface has been taken apart, sanded down, and repainted. So that includes this guy, this guy, the whole coin cabinet. That um, that sticker right there has been uh, replaced. I believe that's the last one that Andamira had in USA for the GX cabinet. And those Andamira stickers there, and that Pump It Up sticker there, and the trim was custom made at a, at a, a um, place that does auto wraps. So if you need to get some custom stickers done, that's, that's one route you can go about that. So what happened was um, the, the Cortec, um, I think it's a 40, 40 inch, 36 inch, uh, a CRT that's that comes in this thing it went bad on me and possible it could have gotten fixed but the more I looked into it it was actually pretty straightforward to um, replace this guy with a flat screen the easy thing would just be to chop this guy off here and just seriously just put an LCD TV on you know it's not gonna look pretty but I wanted it to look pretty and this is how I went about that so these two sides here are the same as what was on the original machine. Basically, I broke that apart without damaging those sides. And then I used the original pieces to cut out a template with a new piece of wood right here and down here. And then um, online you can find some places that'll, that'll sell sheet metal that to your specs what gauge do you want it and how do you want them to bend it so I had them make pieces uh, this piece here and this piece here because now it's wider I had a custom uh, sheet of plexiglass cut and then used some uh, foam board there to cut out this is just a 42 inch uh, Vizio cheap LCD television that I completely took apart took all the bezel off of it took all the parts off of it and then you end up with the controller, the buttons for the television with a little um, wire that comes down and I put it, mounted it there. So those are actually the channel and volume and all that stuff for the television. And luckily when you keep this guy plugged in, it, it, it's, it saves its prior state of power on. So if I turn this machine on, it just automatically powers the monitor on. So that's pretty much straightforward. All right. and. So over here, open this up for the first time here. And this just arrived from Channel Beat from Hong Kong. And I got, let's see what we got here. Okay. So I'm supposed to have a pack of these guys. That's cool. 50 of them, something like that. And oh, more of these guys. They do not go cheap on the cards. Okay. And what do we got here? This is what I would expect. Okay, so we've got our security key. And a hard drive. Oh, okay. 
international version. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this guy. I'll show you the back of the machine. You can see what I got going on there. Okay, taking you around to the back of the machine. First thing, we got the Prime 2 security key and hard drive are out. And I have replaced them with the XX key and drive. So it's a little bit messy. Um, so this is actually a um, Mark 9 board, a custom made one with, um, is it a Mark 6? The, the, originally this machine was running um, new Xenesis, something like that. And I had replaced the motherboard with this the video card, a couple things in there, just updated the system here. I kept the same box. Um, I think I might have had to make a couple changes here, but basically because all of the jumpers and all of this stuff on here is all kind of custom made, so it's a lot easier to just use the, the box that they make. Might be even easier than that to just go ahead and get a Mark 9 from them if you don't have it. Um, all of this stuff is original, but what you might be interested in if you're upgrading your cabinet is this, because, so when you have the CRT monitor, this whole space is very busy, it's full, and you take that guy out and you've got a ton of space. So this, you know, the back of this flat, flat screen leaves you a lot of room. Um, the woodworking in here, that was made custom. And basically, I left a little room in here for um, Wi-Fi. We've got a little Wi-Fi unit in there. Um, you know, some extra plugs and things, um, and there's room to breathe here. I mean, I could do some other things in here probably to run on that monitor, which I haven't really used that space, but it stays nice and cool, and um, and that's, that's pretty much it. That's the machine, so we'll power this guy up, see how it runs. All right, so far so good. Copyright 2019, looks like it's at least getting the bootloader there. I had some trouble when I was making that Mark 9. Um, it's very particular. Um, they've gone through a few iterations of motherboards and things. You have the wrong combination there, it is not gonna load, period. Um, looks like this is a go. Get some volume here. thinking uh, stomp your feet forever is gonna have to go as is Andamiro. Um, it evens it out that way because with the GX you've got this little bend right here. If I ignore that then the logo is gonna be wrapped up in there and it's gonna look ugly so we're gonna go with this. It'll be like it wasn't even there. Okay I think I have it not too too bad. match up right there. So we'll go ahead and put that sucker up here.